In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel. You are with us always. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you taught us not to be afraid, but to take courage. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Jeremiah 26, verses 11 to 16. The priests and prophets said to the princes and to all the people, this man deserves death. He has prophesied against this city. As you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah gave this answer to the princes and all the people. It was the Lord who sent me to prophesy against this house and city. All that you have heard. Now, therefore, reform your ways and your deeds. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God so that the Lord will repent of the evil with which he threatens you. As for me, I am in your hands. Do with me what you think good and right. But mark well, if you put me to death. It is innocent blood you bring on yourselves. On this city and its citizens. For in truth it was the Lord who sent me to you. To speak all these things for you to hear. Thereupon the princes and all the people said to the priests and the prophets, This man does not deserve death. It is in the name of the Lord, our God, that he speaks to us. So Ahikam, son of Shaphan, protected Jeremiah, so that he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. The Word of God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Rescue me out of the mire, may I not sink. May I be rescued from my foes. And from the watery depths. Let not the flood waters overwhelm me. Nor the abyss swallow me up. Nor the pit close its mouth over me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. But I am afflicted and in pain. Let your saving help, O God, protect me. I will praise the name of God in song. And I will glorify him with thanksgiving. Lord, in your great love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor. And his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard of the reputation of Jesus. And said to his servants, This man is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. That is why mighty powers are at work in him. Now Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison. On account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip. For John had said to him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although he wanted to kill him, he feared the people. For they regarded him as a prophet. But at a birthday celebration for Herod, the daughter of Herodias performed a dance before the guests. 
and delighted Herod so much that he swore to give her whatever she might ask for. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me here on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was distressed. But because of his oaths and the guests who were present, he ordered that it be given, and he had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought in on a platter and given to the girl, who took it to her mother. His disciples came and took away the corpse, and buried him, and they went and told Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good, we will go all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as you drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones the dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. O you holy, O Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. This morning we pray the second Eucharistic prayer and a beautiful quote from St. Francis de Sales on the Holy Eucharist. Say, when you receive him, stir up your heart to do him homage. Speak to him about your spiritual life, gazing upon him in your soul, where he is present to your, for your happiness. Welcome him as warmly as possible, and behave outwardly in such a way that your actions may give proof to all of his presence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by singing down your spirit upon them like you do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. 
For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep with the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you, God.